Hi, I'm Katie. This is the Normal Girl Show, and today we're gonna make a quick, all natural carpet and rug deodorizer. For this DIY, at the very least, you'll need baking soda. All of the other tools and ingredients are optional, but I'll explain to you as we go through why I use them when I make this for my own carpets and rugs. Start with a medium sized mixing bowl and add your baking soda, which is a natural deodorizing agent. And avoid using aluminum mixing bowls or spoons when putting this together, since the baking soda can react with it. Next, add the borax, which is basically a type of salt that's gonna help boost the deodorizing power of the baking soda. It also has some brightening properties, so I'd skip this if your carpet or rugs are particularly dark or if they're made from delicate materials or dyes. Now I add a bit of cornmeal to the mix to help keep everything from clumping up. And I find that the cornmeal also helps to distribute the mix evenly when you're using a shaker top instead of a cheesecloth top on your jar. And then finally, adding your essential oils. And I'm using grapefruit and lavender essential oils, both for their scent and for their natural antimicrobial and antibacterial properties. And then just mix everything together, being sure to break up any clumps. All right, so that's looking good. Everything seems to be mixed well. So now we'll make the jar that we'll use to sprinkle this onto the carpet with. For the top of your jar, you can either go with a shaker top or a cheesecloth top. If you're gonna make the shaker top, start by tracing the inside lid of your mason jar onto a sheet of paper. Then use your scissors to cut out the circle. And then you're gonna use a hole punch to make a few holes in the top. And now you have a shaker top for your jar. If you'd rather use a cheesecloth lid, then all you have to do is just cut a square of cheesecloth that's large enough to cover the top of your jar and you're good to go. Now just fill your mason jar with some of the deodorizing mix and then place the paper shaker or the cheesecloth on the top and then hold it in place by just screwing on the jar ring. So now you're all set. And to start the deodorizing process, first you'll need to vacuum your carpets and rugs. And I know it doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun to vacuum before you're about to mess up your carpets and rugs, but you wanna do this to remove any excess dirt, any loose carpet fibers, and it also helps get all of the fibers aligned so that as you pour the deodorizer on top of them, it gets down in between nice and evenly. Once you're done vacuuming, sprinkle the deodorizer mix liberally onto the carpet or rug and let it sit for at least 30 minutes, but longer is better, overnight is great. And don't let anyone, including your pets, trample through the area while you're treating it. Then just vacuum it up and be thorough so you don't leave any baking soda in the carpet, which can eventually start to clump and attract dirt if you're in a high humidity area. And if you have any deodorizer left over, be sure to label it and store it with the inner jar lid on in a location where kids and pets can't get to it. So that's all there is to it. And you can do this a few times a year or whenever your carpets or rugs are starting to smell a little funky. If you like this, give it a thumbs up so I know to make more natural cleaning videos and be sure to subscribe to the channel for new episodes of The Normal Girl Show coming every Monday. This month is all about natural home care, so be sure to stay tuned.